Hey guys, Griffin here at Timber Train Coffee Depot, and today we're going to be looking at some recipes that come to us from the World AeroPress Championship. Let's get into it. The World AeroPress Championship is an event that happens usually once a year in a different country. What happens is one competitor is sent from each country to represent that country, and they all go head to head in an AeroPress match, where all that really matters is how well you brew the coffee. There's no presentation, there's no really expenses to this, it's just kind of brewing the best coffee with the AeroPress. The recipes that I chose for today are ones that interest me the most. They're a little bit different, a little bit quirky, and it's definitely a new way to taste your favorite coffee. I will leave a link below for the AeroPress website, which will provide you more information about the competition, and it will also give you a whole list of all the recipes from all the top competitors over the years. So what you're going to need today to follow along and brew all these recipes is just a few different things. Of course, we're going to need the AeroPress, some filters, a gram scale with a timer. This one has a timer built in, but you could just use one off your phone. I also have a craft to press into. I tend to not like it being glass, just because in case it shatters. We'll also need a little stir stick. Any spoon will do. And finally, a kettle. Uh, this one's temperature settable which is ideal and it's gooseneck, but that's definitely not necessary for these recipes. And lastly, of course, you're gonna need some coffee. Let's get into it. The first recipe we're gonna be checking out today is gonna to be definitely more in line with kind of regular AeroPress recipes. It's not too crazy, but it was used by Yevgeny Pinchikov to take third place in the 2018 World AeroPress Championships. So let's get started. What you're gonna need course is pretty much everything we went over. We're going to use two AeroPress filters this time. I'm going to have 15 grams of coffee ground fairly coarsely, kind of medium coarse. And our kettle, I have it set at 90 degrees Celsius. I'm going to start by taking our two filters, throwing those in there, and I'm going to give this a little rinse. This helps just get rid of any paper flavor that might be left on there and preheats everything for the brew. So, since this is going to be a regular AeroPress method, we're going to just screw it on right now to the top. Dump out the rinse water and throw it there on our scale. Next, we're going to dose our 15 grams of coffee. Perfect. Level the bed there. Tear our scale and we're ready to brew. Now, grab our kettle. We're going to start our timer and immediately pour 50 grams of water into the chamber. Awesome. I'm gonna give that a little stir. And this is gonna act as our bloom, and it's just gonna sit there for about 30 seconds. So at 30 seconds, we're gonna pour up to a total of 230 grams. So let's get started. Filling this up nice and gently. And 230 grams. So now we're gonna wait until one minute and five seconds, give it one last stir before we start to press. At this point, I'll take this off the scale so that when we press, we're not pressing down onto the scale. One minute and five seconds. We're gonna do one last stir, make sure all that coffee is broken up nicely. And then we're just gonna throw on the pr plunger and press. So this press should take about 30 seconds, approximately. So the total brew time will be around one minute and 35 seconds. So there we go, we got the hiss telling us that all the water's been pressed through the air press. I'm gonna flip it out. And there's our coffee, ready to drink. So I'll give it a couple swirls, let it cool down, and let's taste it. All right, I've given it a couple minutes to cool off, so let's give it a taste, see how this recipe fares. So the recipe I'm using for all the coffees today is Timber Train's new Bolivia El Fuerte. It's a natural processed coffee from, of course, Bolivia. Let's give it a taste. Okay, so this recipe, very clean, very smooth, lots of sweetness, a really balanced acidity. It's a great representation of this coffee, I know for sure, uh, but it's nothing crazy. 
definitely kind of how this would taste on pour over or filter. Simple and delicious. Let's move on to the next one. The second recipe that we're gonna be trying today took second place in the 2017 World Air Press Championships. It was used by Yusuke Narisawa. This is where the recipes start to get a little bit weird, a little bit quirky. So for this one, we're actually gonna be using 28 grams of coarsely ground coffee. So this is pretty coarsely ground. And we're also gonna be using 1.5 grams of very finely ground coffee. This was pretty much as fine as I could go on my grinder. It's a little bit finer than espresso. And so why we're using the 28 gram dose when we, the air press is so small is because it gives us a really interesting brew. Because most of the extraction is happening in the immersion, it's gonna be really balanced even though we're only extracting a little bit from the coffee. What the 1.5 grams of finely ground coffee does is it adds in that extra extraction that we're looking for. Okay, now let's get into the recipe. So this one uses the inverted AeroPress. I like to put the plunger in to about the four mark. And we're gonna be using a double filter again. I've already kind of pre-wet and pre-rinsed these, so we're ready to go. All right, so first I'm gonna dose my 28 grams of coffee. Perfect. Give that a little shake. And I'm gonna sprinkle the finely ground coffee on top. Awesome. So that's just 1.5 grams. Next, I'm gonna tear my scale, grab our water, and we're gonna start by pouring 70 grams of water. So 70 grams, and it says to stir exactly 20 times. Here we go. All right, 20 stirs. So the next part, at around 30 seconds, I'm gonna add 100 grams of water, bringing our total up to 170 grams. Perfect. So we're gonna let that sit for a bit, but in the meantime, I'm gonna throw the cap on the air press and just gently press out some of the air in there. Perfect. And in a minute and 15 seconds, we're gonna flip it over and press for about 45 seconds. So there we are. Flip it over and press. So that finely ground coffee also helps to resist the press. If you just have coarsely ground coffee in there, it's gonna flow through the filters really easily. So this definitely helps in that regard. Okay, so when we're done, we'll flip over the air press. And there's our coffee. But before we drink it, we're actually gonna bypass it with 70 grams of hot water. So turn my scale again and 70 grams. Perfect. So I'm just gonna let this cool down a little bit. I'll clean up and then we'll taste it. So I've let our coffee cool down a couple seconds. I'm just gonna give it some swirls to make sure that bypass is actually integrated into the coffee. Smells interesting. Let's give it a pour. So that double filter definitely helps to clean up that extra fine grind size. So I'm interested to see how this tastes. So what I've found with these AeroPress recipes that tend to have really high doses of coffee is they create really interesting textures in the cup. So it's a really creamy, really mouth-filling cup. Uh, it definitely doesn't quite have the flavor diversity or flavor clarity of the earlier one, the 15 gram dose, but it has this really interesting texture, lots of fruity flavors, a decent sweetness, but it's really that kind of texture and that mouthfeel that stand out in this cup. Yeah, it's a nice recipe. It's definitely interesting, a little bit different, pretty fun to do, but let's move on to the next one. All right, the last recipe we're gonna brew today came in first place in the most recent AeroPress Championships that happened in 2019 in London, England, and this recipe was created by Wendelijn van Bunik. So, for this one, it's gonna be a similar large dose coffee. So we're gonna use 30 grams of pretty coarsely ground coffee, like a little bit coarser than medium coarse. And I'm gonna be using two paper filters again. I've pre-wet those, have them to the side. And we're gonna be doing the inverted AeroPress method. 
Although this recipe uses a ton of coffee and it seems kind of weird, it's actually pretty simple. So we're gonna start by dosing our 30 grams of coffee. Just an absolute ton of coffee. Shake that flat. Tear our scale. The water I'm using is at 92 degrees Celsius. We're gonna start our timer and immediately pour 100 grams of water. And we want this to be done pouring in 10 seconds. So there we go, 100, 10 seconds, and we're gonna immediately stir 20 times in 10 seconds. So, so about 20 times. Then we're gonna let it sit for a little bit. But during that time, I'll take it off the scale. I'm gonna throw on the cap and gently press some of the air out. Now at 40 seconds, we're gonna flip it and press. So the press should take about 30 seconds as well. So this is a really easy, really quick recipe. And it, what we're gonna get in the carafe here after pressing is a really strong coffee that, that we then have to kind of bypass, dilute with some water. All right, done pressing. About 30 seconds later. Flip over our air press. You should end up with about 60 grams of liquid. So we're gonna tear our scale. And the recipe recommends putting about 100 to 120 grams of bypass. So I'm gonna do about 120 today. All right, now give it some swirls to make sure everything's integrated. I'm gonna clean up, let this cool off a little bit, and then we'll taste it. All right, I've let it cool off a couple minutes. I'm gonna give it some good swirls just to make sure everything's nice and integrated. And then let's give it a try. So again, the double filter, I'm sure is gonna clean up the body a lot, uh, but that heavy dose is kind of interesting. So this one's pretty similar to the last one. Really creamy, really rich, decent amount of sweetness, that kind of full body and nice texture but it kind of does lack a little bit of that clarity, a little bit of that flavor profile, but it definitely stands out in between the brews as something different. Brewing like this, brewing with a huge dose, you're definitely gonna taste the coffee in a way that you haven't really tried it before. Today, we tried three different Aeropress Championship winning coffee recipes. Though some of them take a fair amount of coffee, a huge dose, and I wouldn't brew them all the time, they're really interesting recipes because of how different they are and how different they showcase the kind of taste and the texture of the coffee you're brewing. And this really goes to kind of showcase the versatility of the air press. There's so many different recipes that you can create. It's pretty much a list of endless possibilities. And again, I'll leave a link in the description for a whole list of the air press championship winning recipes that you could try out. They have them for lots of years back, so please give those a shot. This is also why I tend to recommend the AeroPress is most people's first brewer. It's not quite as finicky as a pour over, and you definitely don't need as many tools, but it creates really interesting and really delicious coffee. And there's so many different ways to brew with it. Well, what do you guys think? Did you try out any of the AeroPress Championship recipes? Which one's your favorite? Did any of them taste good? Let me know in the comments, but for now, Thank you guys for watching.